This was probably one of the most dangerous videos that I have filmed in my life. And I'm not just saying maybe like skin wise or self esteem wise, but I felt like I was gonna get probably robbed or kidnapped. The other day I went to the sketchiest, most scary place in my city. I've been doing this for more than a year now and makeup salons to be running out. Now I have to go travel further, but I enjoy this, except for this one. I did not enjoy this one. <laughs> Nails, brows, lashes, hair, barbershop. Well, there's tons of places here, but low-key, we're a little bit scared. We plan to strategically what we bring and what we leave behind. We're in a freaking private parking lot because outside... It's a purge. It's, <laughs> it's a purge. The purge. I'm taking just the money that I need, like just cash because I'm scared to take my cards. We're actually pretty scared because we just got checked by the military. So it's actually... It's like it's dangerous. Like we were coming this way, and military people were like on a checkup point, Checking and we for got guns or anything. We got our hands against the car and everything. It was super scary. So fun. <laughs> Let's go. The universe was clearly giving us a sign that we should leave and run and never come back. Did that stop us? Of course not. So without any further ado, let's just get into the makeup. It's bien natural. Three words to describe this place. It was loud, toxic, both chemically speaking and vibe-wise speaking, <laughs> and messy. You know those places where there's a lot happening and you're just like overwhelmed and you just like start to freaking stop working? <laughs> The hair look that I asked her to do on me was a simple like braid Like I just wanted to pick up like half up and then throw it down It was a pretty loose messy kind of style because I just didn't want heat this time on my hair But for some reason she soaked my hair I think it was just water, but then on top of that, she put on gel. This brings me flashbacks from when my mom used to comb my hair when I was in school, and we would wake up at 5 in the morning, even though school started at 8, and we lived 20 minutes away. <laughs> so yeah, whenever this happens, I just don't like it. <laughs>
Si está de blanco, seguro que no quiere que lo Solo lo puedes peinar. Un que tiene las pestañas mías. ¿Mande? Es una cuchara. Una cuchara. Una I'm not sure how long this makeup salon has been open for. But I love the fact that I have a spoon rather than an eyelash curler. And just now it is cured to them that they need an eyelash curler. <laughs> Side note, it was lunchtime. So I'm not really sure if they were using the spoon that they eat with. <laughs> I'm not saying they did. But also it was lunchtime. <laughs> Absolute silence. Lady, I don't want them done. I could feel the air thickening, and no, it wasn't because of the chemicals on the freaking air from the nail polish beside me. It was just her stubbornness and her wanting to do my eyebrows so bad and me not letting her that it just pissed her. <laughs> like I could feel that she was pissed. If you ask your client if you wanted your eyebrows done and they said no, that means no. It doesn't mean, okay, try and cut her eyebrows with a freaking nail clipper. It wasn't really a nail clipper. It was more like a nail scissor. It was like a mini scissor thing. Nevertheless, you just don't do that. <laughs>
I think this is the prettiest purple eyeshadow that I've ever worn in my life. I also will give it to her. It was a perfect uh, application method that she used. Because usually I look like I get punched in the eye, both eyes. So I think this place is specialized more in nails because there were a lot of people getting their nails done. But there were two people getting their makeup done. It was me and the makeup artist. You know, as one does. I'm not a makeup salon owner. If we go into hygiene, I think this makeup tools would be used, you know, very carefully because you're using them on a lot of people. You would think you would be cautious with it, but yeah, he was just doing his makeup. He was skin prepping, he was using all the foundations that he could find, and I did notice that he used straight up the lipstick from the tube so yeah i was just hoping the makeup artist didn't go for the lipstick that he was using at the moment you know we wouldn't like to match or something Remember how I told you this place was toxic? Well, it was really toxic. Like, it could cause you health issues kind of toxic. I'm about to go down to the car. I'm doing like pressure. Like, <laughs> I can stand it. But uh, it's too much time and I will fall. The more time that I spend in the salon, I noticed that actually every person in there would bring their own tools. By the way, when Ethan sat down for a bit because he was dying, um, the makeup artist started fighting among them. Um, and I didn't really film this because I thought it would be a little bit awkward, you know. It, they were just so snappy to each other and then the makeup artist that was doing my makeup started blaming someone like she wasn't straight up saying you were the one who took my eyeliner according to her he didn't give it back the last time he borrowed it from her it's so awkward for the client like i guess if you were worried about these things you just don't say it in front of the client because that's just not professional <laughs> but then he offered his eyeliner uh to her to use on me you know the one that he was using on himself and then they became besties and lived happily ever after. Until the next fight happened. And I don't even remember what was it over. Is it? No.
¿Cómo creen que cuesta esto una pila privada? Es que me tocó comprar todo. Debo We're heading to the hospital. Perdón, está estorbando, a nadie pasa. Nos quedamos todos aquí. Nos quedamos todos aquí. Por favor, señor, por favor. Por favor, señor. Por favor. And yeah, that was pretty much it for today's video. I don't hate it. Like lately, this makeup artists are kind of surprising me. I guess all I can say is that I'm kind of glad that I came out alive from that place. <laughs> you have to be there, okay? People are gonna be like, oh my God, you're exaggerating so much. Like what's wrong with you? I'm gonna take you there and I will leave you there. <laughs> so you see, like I said, there were a lot of places Think of places there and I think I'm willing to make the sacrifice to go around there again So let me know if you want me to get myself in danger again <laughs> If this video gets to Okay, what's a what's a benchmark that I'm gonna put for you if this video gets to 1000 likes I will go back not to the same salon just to the same area. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video Go and have a productive, safe, hydrated day. It's nine in the morning and I haven't had lunch, that breakfast, and I need that to function. Anyway, bye. <laughs>